Arrow is the latest interface offering from Universal Audio. At $4.99, it looks like a bargain. Should you buy one? I'm Steve with Puzzle Audio, and today we're taking a look at what this Thunderbolt 3 interface can and cannot do. First, Arrow is a nice niche product for UAD's lineup. Arrow takes aim squarely at the laptop producer, and if you're taking Arrow on the road, you'll appreciate its small and concise form factor. It's a Thunderbolt 3 interface, not backwards compatible with Thunderbolt 2 or 1. It has two Unison preamps, so you can take advantage of Universal Audio's UAD2 plugins, including amp simulators and mic modeling technology if you own or plan to own microphones that support that. Lots of buzz in the voiceover community about the Aero and Apollo interfaces, and folks seem to like the Unison pre's. Guitarists will appreciate the front-facing quarter-inch instrument input, while the Unison XLR inputs on the rear help reduce cable clutter. An intricate yet elegant user interface allows control of just about every other function, such as level adjustments for inputs, outputs, monitors, and headphones, all of which emanate from the large control knob, while push-button menus alter the function for each selection. The front also affords access to controls for a high-pass filter, 48-volt phantom power, microphone phase, a minus 20 dB pad, and a link option to share control for the guitar input and XLR channel 1. Aero supports up to 24-bit 192K sample rate recording, and its digital-to-analog and analog-to-digital converters are up to the task of producing professional quality audio for both professional and home studio use. The unit does sound good, and its proprietary ultra-low latency monitoring system means you can focus on creating great music. However, you'll have to use the included console software to take advantage of that monitoring feature. And for those of you who have never run a control board before, the software does come with a little bit of a learning curve. The good news is that you can mix with UAD plugins without using the console program, as long as Aero and its onboard DSP are connected. So what's Aero's claim to fame? The small package form factor, matched with the world's first Thunderbolt 3 powered interface, means it's more portable than, say, the larger iterations of the Apollo Twin Mark II or rack mount options from UAD. And I'd say it's a great solution for guitarists and voice artists looking for a gateway into the world of UAD 2 plugins. Its compact size and bus power make it a perfect partner for laptop producers who want professional results on the road. But while the larger units currently offer more DSP options, Arrow only comes with one Shark processor, which can severely limit the number of UAD2 plugins that you can instantiate per session. UAD plugins are one of the primary benefits of ownership, and several classic and high quality plugins come with the unit, like the legendary Neve 1073 channel strip. When I fired up my Arrow to record for the first time, however, I immediately got an error message for attempting to run just two plugins. As you can see, the Neve 1073 channel strip plugin is using 81% of my available DSP, one plugin, and my project settings are 24 bit 48K, not unusually high. The higher your sample rate, the more DSP you'll use. So if you have expectations of top quality mixes with UAD plugins, you're going to be sorely disappointed. And let's face it, the only reason to consider the Arrow is getting at those classic and legendary UAD plugins. So unless you really want to jump into the Universal Audio ecosystem, you're either going to be spending a lot of money or sending this unit back. A single shark processor simply isn't enough power to run multiple UAD2 plugins. Now, UAD does make outboard processors available for its proprietary plugins. They come in two versions, offering either four or eight Shark processors. And this is the only way you can run multiple instances of some of these plugins, especially at higher sample rates. I strongly encourage you to read up on the DSP use for each plugin you're interested in on the UAD website. You can find a link to the chart on my website at puzzleaudio.com. For anyone considering buying the Arrow, be sure you know what you're buying into and what you expect to get out of your investment. I'm happy with the Arrow I purchased, 
but I've also paired mine with an Octo satellite system, a somewhat significant investment. If you're a laptop producer, now you've got two big boxes to move around, plus the satellite's power supply. Suddenly, portability is less of an option. Now, in fairness, UAD just released a stripped-down version of the Neve preamp, and that version uses much less DSP. Overall, the Arrow has many excellent features, and as a standalone interface, the unit is small but mighty. It's built tough, and if you've done your research, this could be a great option for you.